Hello and welcome to the Cowboy for Game Yu-Gi-Oh! podcast. I'm your host, Jake. Today, I'm joined by Brad from Braggio. Hello. And Ben from Nolan TCG. I hear that. <laughs> I was wondering why your ears weren't ringing. That's fine. Now everyone else's is. Well, I'm do you okay want to start this here. again? No, I'll just do like a, a quick cut the actual audio out of that portion of the video. Okay. Uh, how is our week in Yu-Gi-Oh? Let's start with Ben. Uh, this week in Yu-Gi-Oh, I decided to go on a journey. A journey back to 2015 slash end of 14. Hope you're comfortable. I played Melodious. I'm not. Yeah. I broke it out. It's a pretty good deck. Yeah. I went X1 on Tuesday when I had literally not played a single game with a deck. I did some test hands for about an hour total. So I could do test hands on Monday night and then I did like a couple test hands when I got home from work on Tuesday and was like... I know the basic combo line. No, I didn't. Uh, <laughs> turns out I, things that I thought weren't legal activations were legal activations, so I could have done so much better. Flash forward to today, and I bricked mercilessly. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. Uh, so, three round locals today. Two rounds for Ben, because Ben lost round one, I had the buy. Uh, in five hands, I opened uh, the big songstress. Uh, yeah. Soprano? Chopina. Chopina. Yep. Um, I opened her, what, three of the five games. And, like, the first game I was like, hmm, this is in deck, I win. Instead, it's in hand, and I cannot summon it from deck. Good times. Uh, and then, yeah, my other games were... All right. I uh, played a mirror against Leo. That oh, was, he's on Melodious? That was fun, yeah. Is he actually just on, like, straight up Melodious yeah. or Melodious Snake Eyes? Yeah, we're both playing, like, close to the same lists. Just, mm. like, some... Slight changes. About as var- as much variance as you can get between two Melodious lists. That's the variance that we had. I'm playing two Barka in my extra deck. No, uh, <laughs> I was playing the fucking... Um, I was playing Desire's double concerto. Uh, Leo's playing Prosp one concerto. Uh, I lost the match uh, because I sided out the second concerto in game three. Good plan. He's getting so much better with his pronunciations, by the way. I intentionally did it so that we didn't go through a 10-minute exercise on the podcast. Concerto? Yes, yeah, Concerto, mate. It says yeah, right there, Concerto. So Brag! Mm, Master Jewel Bunch. Got my deck ready for states, which includes some of that rubbish. That's this weekend, right? Yes! Technically, yes. Oh, Christ. <sighs> oh, yeah. I still don't know what I'm Can playing. Can I get a lift? Uh, uh. Can I get a lift? Ah, uh, uh, maybe with him. I can see my car. I gotta figure it out. I just don't want to drive all the way. Oh, this is this other mountains. You're going to the States? I quickly said a couple people can come with me. And I don't know who uh, I've told can come with me. I don't know. Because, yeah, I need a lift there. I'm going to catch the train back. Well, I'm going to catch the train to the zoo. You going to buy that zoo? Mm, maybe. Mm. They should make a movie also, about that. I've gone through my cars. I only found one Zodiac. Oh, yeah, so organising my cars. some terrible gear today. Fucking hell. Yeah, organising my cars as well. That's... God. There's just running through the decks going, Oh, yeah, I remember this deck. I hated it. Oh, yeah, I remember this deck. Yeah. I'm indifferent to it. Uh, and, yeah, Master Jewel, just the new Snake Eye stuff is so much... You can win games now instead of just, oh, accidentally trip over and <laughs> The new games. Snake Eye stuff, by which he means exactly the Link Force helmet great. <laughs> and, and, and SP. I'm running into the issue now that I have the deck at full power. I don't want to play it anymore. Because <laughs> I'm like, oh, yes, the deck that I've just been playing in real life. Yeah, but now you're playing Melodious. Yeah, but I might play Snake Eyes. The States. I have three decks ready to go. I have Tempai, I have Melodious, and I have Snakes. All I have to do is switch the hand traps between each list and it's done. Yeah. Some more hand... Like, some spare hand traps would be alright. Like, I'm like, ah, oh, I wouldn't mind having a second deck. Because for the last few... Like, for the last while, since all my stuff is everywhere, that's why I was organising, I've only been relying on one deck. I might have mentioned this on a previous podcast. But yeah. <coughs> I want to get back to having multiple decks that I can just go, oh yeah, I want to play this now, instead of a whole thing having to dismantle and dig up and everything. So, it would be nice to have... A second deck, which will probably be Horus related. Like we'll it. go. Like we'll it. go with Horus. Probably Vanities. No reaction. No anything. It is what it is. <laughs> How are your week, Jake? Uh, bad. 
Um, Tuesday, I made some changes to my tier element uh, deck. And out of the, I think, total of 10 games that I played, I got shifted four or five times. Um, and otherwise, I got impermed and Nibiru'd and all kinds of things. So Tuesday, I was in a deep, dark hole, uh, and I wanted to die. But I'm cooking. Did anyone solemn judgment your rhino? Summon? No. <laughs> Chiefly because I don't think many of my games got as far as to summon rhino. A stun player did that at Dutch Nationals, and then they're just like, oh, okay, uh, summon, okay. It, summon it back, summon two more things, attack, because you're on 4,000 now? <laughs> Some people honestly don't think through their thing. Like, honest, the most clicky button shit. Actually, uh... I've also been playing a lot of Master Duel, and this morning I versed exactly that same situation. I was versing Sword Soul, and they'd set up, like, Baron and the other one. <laughs> um, and, like, I had very limited stuff in my hand. I kept the King Sark in my hand because he'd, like, max seed me on my turn. I was like, I don't really want to give him 10,000 draws for my shitty board. Um, so I had, like, just the Crimson Searchy thingy for the level 2 so that I can make a Synchro and some other stuff, and I had the King Sark in hand. I was like, I'm going to take a gamble and see if this guy's a clicky button moron or whether he thinks about what he's doing. And I activated the Crimson thingy to search my level two, mm -hmm. instantly Baron again. Yeah. I was like, cool, Click I'm button. free to play. <laughs> <laughs> Whee! <laughs> Fucking Maxi, it's... I, if they had a survey put out for Master Duel uh, in the raft of updates, which we'll cover in a second, and in my, what would you do to improve this game section? I was like, Maxi's yeah. an abomination of a card and it needs to go. I will write, give us Jelly Hand Trappy faster. Yeah, yeah. Give yeah, us yeah. Express Jelly Hand Trappy. Keep Maxi and Jelly Hand Trappy. I'm well. looking forward to the other raft of what I assume will be Jelly Hand Trappies and what they'll do. But we already got Impermi No Play. Uh, hmm? yeah. We got Trappy, Locky, Audi, Decky, Hand Trappy. Oh, it was Decky, Hand Trappy. I thought it was Nipomi. Yeah. I'm sure there'll be an acronym. I just haven't worked it out yet. Um, yeah, Jelly, Hand Trappy, uh, Blocky, Searchy, Trappy. And what else? Have it's, we got any other Hand no Trappies? It's No Me, Searchy, Trappy. Hmm? It's No Me, Searchy, Trappy. Yeah. But anyway. No Searchy and No Me, Use Other. Uh, yeah, but the wording on Jelly Hand Trappy specifically says it's going to be a Jelly Hand Trappy archetype. Yes. Mm. So I'm interested to see what else we will get. It, <laughs> lets, you, it lets your opponent normal summon. Was it Infinite Forbidden? Yes. And we know the rest of Infinite Forbidden. So it's going to be a set-by-set -set archetype, right? Mm. We know, don't we know the rest of Infinite Forbidden? We know the rest of Infinite yeah, yeah. Forbidden. Yeah, it's already... Yeah, yeah. separate releases. Not so we're going to have wait. to wait another three It'd months like for another eyes, Jelly Hand Trappy. the one Snake Eyes card and then we get the rest later. Maybe what you said oh, initially yeah. is right in that it's going to be a whole new retrain of Hand Traps and like each main set will get Let's a new Jelly more. Hand Trappy. Yeah. Um, I had a point, but I forgot to say it. About? I don't know. Anyway, I'm cooking oh, with the I new remember. deck. Mm -hmm. We need a, one of the Hand Traps in this archetype is to be like, look at your opponent's hand to special summon one of their monsters ignoring its summoning conditions. What? I just think that'd be interesting. What, just in general? Not my kick Like, no condition, no tactics thing of like, they have to have no, activated a monster effect. Discard, just look at discard, your opponent's hand, summon a, no, special summon a monster from their hand. Absolutely not. Yeah. No. <laughs> I think it'd Actually be great. fucked. Triple tactics, your monster mine now. Special oh, summon a monster with an on mandatory on summon effect, then you can thrust them. Oh, summon to their field. <laughs> yeah, summon it to their field. Oh, that's so Look dumb. at their hand just and special play, summon it to their field. Just play Silent Wobby Ben. No, no. It gives you the hand knowledge. That sounds awful. Absolutely awful. Just terrible. Shout out to Silent Wobby. Uh, but anyway, with states coming up, I have no idea what I'm going to play. There's any one of seven potential decks I can play. Hate them all. Uh, don't have, don't actually care about states either because I won't be going to pushies. I just so. want the play mat. Yes, I'm more than happy to buy it than to try against the current raft of decks. I literally don't care. Anyway, on to news. We start with Master Duel, and there's been some big updates. Uh, so as of Thursday this week, they released a few new packs. Uh, so we got the uh, Ritual Dinner archetype having yeah. its own pack, as well as uh, Suship and what was the other one? 
It had something to do with food as well, I think. This all should have been the same bag. <laughs> there was something else in here that I'm sure was like, that's weird. But I can't Dolce? remember what it is. It's the only other food archetype I know. It is, and you'd think that they would have put those together, but no. Um, maybe it's just the fact that Theseus was in here for reasons. The best card of 2017. Yeah. Um, he's in there. Um, but yeah, it's cool. No one's going into that pack, but they're there. Um, we get... My free open of it was terrible. Oh, yeah, so free it was open? Mine. Yeah. yeah, all the new secret packs that yeah. you get give you a free pack. Uh, the new selection pack, however, is called uh, Revived Legion. Uh, so this is where we get the Link 4 Salamin Great. Uh, we get SP... Uh, a bunch of salad stuff in general. The Horus archetype in its entirety all came out in that one set. Um, and there was something else in here too. Oh, the uh, Mementos also came out in here with the full raft of their support. Well, I... not full. Not the current stuff that we just got, nor the stuff that they're getting. Oh, no, it is the current stuff. Sorry, because they got the fusion and the fusion spell and all that stuff. I did get the Memento stuff and I was like, huh. Bim. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think I actually hit any of those. I opened a lot of those packs because I wanted to build Horus, obviously. Yep. Uh, I hit four Salad uh, Raging Phoenixes mm -hmm. and one Pyro Phoenix. And right. one Horus card in total. <laughs> Had to craft the rest. It was so great. Yeah, I got, I got all of Horus before getting uh, SP or... Actually, no, I got, I got three Pyro Phoenixes in the end. I got an SP in my first pack. And then I scrapped my ban, my now semi-limited fucking trap, uh, quick play spell, Stink Eyes one. Wanted. Yep. And I used that to craft the Phoenix. And I was oh, like, shit, I didn't I'm do done. that. Oh. It's still time. Um, but yeah, Horus uh, got pretty uh, dicked on by the rarities because I think of their total seven cards, four of them are ultra. Sure can. It's just like real life. But they are so good. Yeah, what? but only Imsadi was the one that you want. You didn't give a shit about Dwamfwet or whatever his fucking name is. I think I got uh, a Dumblefob. Well, I've got a Royal Rare of it now. <laughs> Wait, no, you got um, the birdie one. You got the Bird Royal. Isn't that that oh, one? Oh, even... Dwarf? Yeah, I thought that was Dwamfwet as well. No, no, no. Dwamfwet is the... Um, where is he? Is he here? Yeah, if it's is. not Harpy or MC, I so don't you care got, about it. <laughs> so, you got this one. Happy? Which is arguably... No, no. Happy's the um, hippo. Um, you got the bird, yeah, and then Dwamfwet is the water sort of sphinx oh, is the, base one? the Anubis looking thing that gives you draws, but no one plays it because it's What bad. actually is it? What type is it? Beast? Uh, I'd assume so. Oh, Agdom or Candle. Yeah, because that's the one you can, that's, that, that card single-handedly carries the Chimera build. Actually, just because of its typing. Yeah. I need a fiend as well. Please. Uh, as well as that, we get a few assets added. So we get some Inseti sleeves. Oh, I didn't buy the deck box yet. Uh, we get the Memento uh, Gaddick slash Karibo looking thing. Uh, and the King yeah. Sark Inseti uh, deck box, which looks kind of cool. Um, Otherwise, some yeah. Stuff. Uh, but there is more Master Duel news. Uh, what? Close oh, yeah, heaps pants. of stuff. Yeah. Me, 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 me. That way you know where you're at. So, we have two events coming up this season in Master Duel. The first of which is the Limit 1 Festival. So, they've banned a bunch of stuff, but everything else that's left will be a one-off. Uh -huh. uh, so, Highlander format. Very fun. Um, the majority of stuff that they've banned is just the floodgate stuff. So, like, the whole of um, Amorphage, Copter Hit, all the barrier statues, Copter Hit, Archel Christia, Scythe, Protoss, Ashatos. All of the floodgate cards go by. Uh, and, interestingly, Maxi. Yeah, sure. So, yeah, as you can see, big ban list. Uh, so for that event, there's up to 55... No, hang on, how many was it? 950 gems to get oh. from the event itself. Oh. And then they have, like, the daily gems that you can get from the event on the side of that. So it's generally oh. about 3,100 gems total that you can oh. get from the event. So it's pretty good. Oh. And then the asset you get from the Limit 1 is the Magical Thorns Field sections. Oh, okay, yeah. Looks kind of cool. Mm. I wonder if it'd just be a bunch of extenders and you just do OTKs like the. Wait, was it? It wasn't traditional, was it? So like they didn't unban like. No, no, no. Everything's at one. Even the stuff that's banned. Well, no. 
because oh. they would be on the existing ban list. They haven't brought anything back. They've just whacked more stuff. Oh. Uh, I really hope that they did a, an exchange where they were like, all this stuff is a, all this stuff is banned, but you can play with the ban list. No, and it would make sense because one of the things that they have updated, which I don't have covered in my news thingy, is that they added animation for Heavy Storm. We're getting it back. Nah. It is, you mean, it's legal in Japan. <laughs> yeah, but nah. So there's lots of things. We're getting it. No, because you can play in the rooms with it. Lots of things are legal in Japan. You can do your... Or, we're getting it back. Didn't it go to two in Japan? Who cares about spells and trash? You put it to three. Feather dust and goo go to three. You care about spells and traps, so you can protect your skill drain. I don't think... From memory, I feel like they re it when True Draco was a thing, so that you couldn't go dusted, nuke your own back row. Makes sense. That's right, yeah. That's, yeah, Heavy Storm is better than Duster. Mm. Uh, and then you've got the three loner decks for this one. Uh, so the first of which is uh, all spellcasters. So it's got, like, the fairy tale lineup, the Dogmatica stuff. Um, doesn't look amazing. Oh, it's got Alistair in it as well, but still doesn't look amazing. So see the knockdown, um, I'm assuming there's an Alistair in there. Yeah. Uh, what they're calling the Alliance of Beasts, which I think is, like, Ancient Warrior Tri Brigade. Ugh. Oh, and some zoo cards as well, sure. Uh, and then the third one is a new star is born from Apocalypse, which is just a Visus pile. Oh, yeah. Do they ban Promethean? Uh, I don't think so. Cool. Good to know. Where extra deck? I need level three fire extenders. I yeah, need no, I them don't... now. Yeah, I don't think they banned um, her. Considering a lot of their marketing over the last six months has been in relation to her, I doubt they would. Remember when it first came out in Master Duel? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And we're like, oh, this card's kind of okay, and then... Turns out it was insane. It's a floodgate. Yeah. <laughs> you see this? Yeah. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. Oh, Swappy? Uh, yeah, uh, at the Nationals? Yeah. Uh, opponent activates talents... So they go, uh, IP, uh, link my three monsters into a Promethean Princess. You now get the Promethean Princess. You're not playing a fire. Good turn. <laughs> oh, and I was against Mana Diem, and she's going to pop her own, pop it, keep going. And then they're like, oh, wait, rewind. It was off IP. Can't be popped. <laughs> yeah. Amazing. That is hilarious. Like, do you have a tribute summon? No? Good game. True. Damn. Uh, also, in that event, you can get some Alistair Sleeves, uh, the Invoker of Madness, specifically. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and a name icon, which no one cares about. Oh, hang on. Maybe this is for the second event? Yeah, sorry. My apologies. Everyone's this is for Invoker. the This is for the second event, which is go. the Fusion and Link Festival, uh, where you can get the uh, Invoker of Madness Sleeves. Uh, so this one, similarly, you can get up to 950 gems in the normal event, plus hmm. more for the daily stuff that you can do. Um, and a big ban list for this one as well. Mainly well, the same ban list. That, well, no, it's just that a lot of the floodgate stuff has been banned. Yeah, Manor Water has gone because a lot of floodgates oh, apparently no. start with A. Yes. Same with B. End of that, yeah, in a barrier. <laughs> actually, oh, actually, the labyrinth stuff got hidden D too. Haha. <laughs> well, it makes sense. It's neither fusions nor links. Yeah, but but they could be zombie. Max is going again. Bonfire. Where did it say? Oh yeah, bonfire. Huh. <laughs> but it lets you do links and synchros. They just released Agnimal Candle. Yeah, but they don't want oh, to no, be doing that. There's on fusions, don't worry. Just links. Uh, anyway, two, uh, three loner decks for this one as well. Uh, one is Unchained. Uh, it's not very good because the uh, Xyz isn't available. Uh, you've got, mm. uh, the new deck whose name I've forgotten at least three times already. Memento. Uh, oh, yeah, Memento's that means, in yeah, there, that makes, makes sense. sense. That's yeah. what they're pushing. And then the third one is Predator Plant. Sure. I don't know why they wouldn't have gone with Chimera. I can't think of any Predator Plant links. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure, I'm sure it won't come up. I'm sure it'll be fine. <laughs> is it in there? Is it even in the demo one? Uh, yeah. Good. It's archetypal, so that really it should be. Are they unbanned Dragoon? No. Cowards. Never. 
I'm, I think they're just way too scared of it in the OCG. Here it's still like, oh, Dragoon. Uh, anyway, tactics or droplets or anything else. Uh, next bit of news again for Master Door is um, so Door news. there is a lot of Master Door news. A lot oh, of, hold on, um, I like this Master Door news now. <laughs> the little smell of uh, so a lot of quality of life updates. The first of which is that they changed the engine that the game was running on. I don't know a lot of the details of it, but what three and a half gig update later? It was a massive update. I think in total it was like eleven or twelve gig for me. Yes. Um, Same for me. So. I don't know the logistics or the names of the engines that they've swapped to and from. Pretty sure uh, it's to Unreal. Oh, they moved to Unreal? Pretty sure. Okay. I have noticed it being a lot smoother of late. But I don't know if that's just because my shitty laptop likes this engine more than it did the last engine. I don't know. It just seems a lot nicer for me, at least. Uh, and then we've got some more visual updates. So when monsters go to the back row as... Uh, continuous spells and traps they've added more detail into exactly what they are obviously in preparation for centurion coming in because they'll be coming in as continuous traps rather than continuous monsters continuous spells oh yeah most monsters are continuous until you blow them up continuous spells stop saying it <laughs> anyway um we've also got some animation details um, so the heavy storm animation that I mentioned before, uh, Naturia Beast is for some reason getting an animation now. Continuous spells. Stop saying it. Uh, Sky Strike and Mobilizing Gauge is getting its own up, uh, animation as well. Cool. Um, I could play these, but I won't. Um, already knew about that. Uh, I think those are most of the updates that we need to talk about for Master Duel. We can move on. Hooray! Uh, so, uh, in the last couple of days, we also had the announcement of the Clear World Archetype. Yes. Uh, of which used to only be two cards. Uh, so, a uh, quick synopsis of this, it is very floodgatey. Yep. Basically, the premise of the deck is to get out uh, this big guy, um, and then have this continuous spell on the field. Uh, so, while... And Clear World itself, yeah. Or does it count as Clear World Wars? No, no, no. Um, but... Um, one of them adds like a bunch of the stuff. I think it's this this little guy. Yeah, discard this card and one of the card. Add two cards from your deck to your hand that are either clear world or spells and traps and mention them. So this guy yeah. searches the field spell and the continuous spell yeah. on his own. Uh, well, and a random discard. You said continuous spell. I did say continuous spell because we're about to talk about the continuous spell, which is clear wall. Uh, if Clear World is on the field, target oh, you can add one monster from your deck to your hand that mentions it. Uh, monsters that mention Clear World cannot be destroyed by battle, also you take no battle damage uh, from battles involving them. And while you control a level 7 or higher monster that mentions Clear World, all effects of Clear World are applied to your opponent regardless of the attributes they control. What season is this from? Uh, I don't know the season. All I know is that it's from... That guy? Yeah. Is that 5Ds or is that... Oh, no, it's not 5Ds. It's the second GX, one? surely. GX, or is it fucking... It kind of looks like one of the guys from the... the... It's GX? No, no, it's definitely GX, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Pretty good blasting from GX. Yeah, it's GX. I'm pretty sure it's Night Shroud shit or something. Oh, is this the yeah, it just goes, yeah, it goes crazy. Did, yeah. It goes, oh. Japanese huh. series. Yeah. Wait. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, we didn't get the Darkness um, arc in... Uh, TCG. So what if we don't get this set? We may not, because it's in the Animation Chronicle 4, that so there's every chance that they just us. won't give it to us. Yeah. Yes. Although Oops. I kind of hope that... Oh, actually, no, I don't. Part of me hopes they do. It looks funny, but, you know, floodgates and things. I'm not about them. A lot of floodgates. Yeah, pretty much everything has a floodgate effect. Uh, next new cards are the Tactical Tridex. Uh, so we brought up the Cyber Dragon one a little while ago. We now have the full set list for the Eldritch and the uh, Life Twins. Uh, so the staples that they get are really good. Uh, two extra Avenue of Prosperity, Foolish Burial, Foolish Burial Goods, Lightning Storm, and Psych Cosmic Cyclone, I should say. Uh, Judgment, Skill Drain, uh, Rivalry, Gozen, Tikaboo, Punishment, <laughs> Torrential Tribute, and two Imperm. Two Impa. Uh, and some extra deck stuff that really doesn't matter. I remember back in the when-when. 
Uh, when you were a wee laddie? No, 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 I wasn't a wee laddie. When you were a medium this, laddie? This is like four years ago. When you were a large laddie? Yeah, back when uh, my opponents would floodgate me, or I'd floodgate my opponents, and the good old gentleman's agreement was that if you set an imperm in the column and imperm your own monster, it'd still turn off the, the floodgate. Despite the fact you can't imperm your own monsters, but hey. And also you can't negate a monster whose effect's already negated if it's under skill drain specifically. It's just a gentleman's agreement that if you activate it on your own monster in a floodgate column, it turns off the floodgate. At that point, you might as well have just said, also, MST negates. <laughs> Why not? That, that's the level of play that you see. Negates to floodgates. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Oh, except for D-Shifter. Uh, and then for the live twin, for the live twin, uh, the staples they get. They get like half uh, they a get, sprite deck. Yeah, so they get yeah. like a bunch of sprite cards. Uh, in the line. Yeah. yeah, shocking. Uh, two. two Ash Blossom and two Max C. Uh, they get some of the sprites. Max C is level two. It is. Uh, they get Feather Duster, a Cosmic Cyclone, two Core Bite, a Cross Out, and Forbidden Droplets. Uh, and then uh, oh, another two so Impacts. good. Impacts. Um, and some decent extra deck stuff, but not amazing. It's seemingly like these seem to have replaced OCG starter decks. Well, yeah, because the starter decks typically went from the anime, right? So yeah. being that they don't have an anime anymore, they probably had to think a little outside the box. Are they? Did they finish doing the retro starter decks? Where they were going back and retroing all of the old starter decks? Well, they didn't do the what one. Oh, no, they're structures. Oh, we're well, talking stars or structures? Structures. Oh, okay, yeah. Um, no, we still have a few to do. Okay. Exodia. I just don't know if Fire King was the final one before they hit the start with they were redoing them. Where they started making it up. We need a Mary structure deck redo. Yeah. Totally. I mean... Yeah, where's the frogs could... in this? Well, the frogs are banned in um, OCG. Well, in Japan the one, land? The one that mattered, anyway. Yeah. Yeah, they are. Replaced by evil twins. They're wow. kind of the same. They didn't even get it replaced by substitute. Is well, substitute even banned there? Oh, surely. It has to be banned if uh, Ronin you know, Tone's legal. I never really looked. You, you would think so. but honestly, It has to be. Honestly, who's to say? I mean, brag is in a minute. Um, next bit of news. Uh, we got the announcement of the effect of the Karibo. Uh, that it's was a shown jump a little while ago. I was in right. Essence, yeah. Um, so, uh, if a Karibo monster card is on the field, uh, special summon this card from your hand. When your opponent activates a monster effect on the field, quick effect, equip this card you control to that opponent's monster as an equip spell with this effect. The equip monster's effect is are negated. If this activated in hand... Yeah, that would have been, but like having a Karibo be a uh, effect veiler. Yeah, would have been nice. Yeah, but I won't. Yeah, this is rather more effect veiler at home. This should have just been a continuous spell to let you discard Karibos to negate effects. Continuous spell. Continuous spell. Uh, and then they've given us some more detail on the artwork, specifically of the um, alternate arts. Well, not so much the obelisk because that one's a reprint of in effect um but we get the polymerization from gx era without all the sparkly stuff on it yep. as well as the one for one um not as big a fan of the one for one as i used to be but the poly it's because like, you realize it was sonic chick, sonic no, no, well, chick. i'm not quite that blind that i didn't see it was sonic chick before ah. um but yeah the poly actually looks really good even if this ends up being a common for us it still looks decent no poly i'll ever use I prefer the original Polly. Is that because you can't see either of their feet? I don't know. That's like the original Polly. Yeah. Sure. Okay. Original anime Polly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, not, not Polly. Not Starter Deck Polly. Yeah, Starter Deck Polly's trash. <laughs> and then we get the announcement of another card. Oh, actually, there should be another link. Jake's out of links. That's all right. Um, Stupid Karibo. Uh, so we get a, a new Trickstar slash uh, mm. Marincess monster. Uh, so for those that are a fan of the uh, Vrains anime, they'll remember that Blue Angel first played Trickstars, got demolished by the Sun Avalon guy, uh, in effect died, uh, yeah. and then came back uh, playing the Fish Women. Uh, so this is a card that ties those archetypes together. 
It's called a funeral. <laughs> uh, Trickstar Aqua Angel is what it's actually called. Uh, so water level 4 fairy effect, zero attack and defense. Uh, it's always treated as a Marincess card. Uh-huh. Even though, wait, so if it says it's always treated as a Marincess card, does that mean it's never treated as a Trickstar card? Or is it just one of those it's things both. where it's both? It's both. Okay. They could have just gone Trickstar Marincess Angel. Yeah, I'm surprised they didn't work out a pun for the name. Hmm. Yeah, they've... They've, they've probably been thinking of one this whole time. And it's like, we've got nothing, print the card. <laughs> you can just do the, you know, Osarctic thing and just call it Trickstar Marincess. Yeah, they... Instead of being like, this literally... is an Osarctic card, there's also a Drytron. You just release Osarctic Drytron. Yeah. Uh, so, if you control the Trickstar Marincess monster, special summon this card from your hand or graveyard. Uh, that is once per duel. Uh, Link monsters this card points to cannot be destroyed by battle. And then, if this card is sent to the graveyard as Link material, look at your opponent's hands and all their set cards. Also, once per duel effect. Really solid piece of archetype uh, support, rather. More so for Marincess, I'd argue, than Trickstar. Like, it's a decent extender for Trickstars, and I guess it protects, like, the links from just being walked over. It doesn't contribute to burning your opponent, it's fine. That's true, and a lot of their new st- stuff does like to be like, oh, um, your opponent took burn damage, uh, negate something, or pop something. So it's more burn so something. for Marincess. Yeah. Yeah. But I played against a Trickstar player in Master Duel this morning, and I was like, Oh no. Anyway. I just assumed that one of the set back row was going to be a reincarnation. And I was like, this is irrelevant. If I get reincarnation here, it doesn't matter. And then, like, it was Dark Bribe. And then the other one was <laughs> another <laughs> counter trap. And I was like, oh. These didn't matter at all. Surely there's so many other cards to run over Dark Bribe in literally any deck. Why would you run Dark Bribe? I don't know, man. He summoned the Trickstar Link 2 off the summon with the tokens, and I was like, oh, yeah. we're getting a combo. Oh, we'll it's okay. Dark, I have sure. Ash, Vela, Imperm. What's going to happen here? He summoned that set to him past, and I was like, okay, so one of them's going to be a reincarnation. Just never came. Poor Trickstar. I thought I was going to get Trickstar reincarnation drolled. Instead, I just killed him. <laughs> Sorry, I was having a look, they put some notes about the name, but it doesn't help it. Oh. Um, so before we move on to questions, uh, we have an announcement, or rather, Konami had an announcement the other day about the upcoming Rarity Collection 2. Surprise segment! Uh, so a little while ago, um, they said that they would start leaking these to YouTubers, and that over the coming week, that we'll start getting videos of openings and things like that, of what's going to be in the set. So before this comes out... Probably 24 hours after this episode goes out, we will have the set list. Because they said Monday, All of it? They said Monday morning, yeah? It's Tuesday morning. Tuesday morning? Yeah, I easy, thought they were doing some drip feeds, though. Well, well, everyone's going to get to open it. Someone's immediately just going to aggregate the entire set. Yeah, I suppose. Yeah, yeah they've got, like, they're all going to upload at the same time on every channel, I'm pretty sure. Like, yes. like, like oh, is Monday. that the go? I yeah. thought it was like a literal Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, yeah. Thursday, Friday. I think it's like yeah. Tuesday morning for us. Yeah. Okay. I don't know why I thought it was Monday morning. I thought it was Monday morning America. Oh, it is. It's Tuesday morning for us. Or it's Tuesday. Ah! Yeah, it'll end up being Tuesday for us. Gotcha. We so. know time zones. Uh, so before those leaks come out, we wanted to have a bit of a, a specky bet on what we feel would be coming out. Um, although... Yeah, so Konami didn't send us the th- uh, any of the contents of it because they know we already know what's in it. Yes. Yeah. Uh, ignore this bit at the top of the thing that says Bragg's guess. I'm just going to obscure that a little bit. I took out Bragg's guesses. Yeah, Ben was savage on these. Instead of making a new really tab, doing... I so... was like, oh, okay, we're going to try and compete with, like, who guesses the most of us or something. No, and also, Ben went in with the premise of, like, oh, we're just going to bring it down to 80, took out the ones that he didn't like, and then added the ones that he did. So it had nothing to do with, like, a number. It was just Ben being like, no. Mm-mm. This is Jake deflecting from the fact that he contributed literally nothing to this list. It's true. Um, I had to remind people three times, though, that we needed to do this content, so... Bragg did it two weeks ago. I thought I thought you guys were going to record last week. I was going to record me by a lake reading out my predictions. But I didn't. Cause but here we are. You didn't. Um, so am I just reading through this whole list? Yes. Well, don't read the confirmos. <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah, that's a good point. Well, the highlight, it, it's currently on the screen, our predictions. Uh, the confirmos are confirmoed. Uh, so. Yeah. From yeah, so I can scroll past. So what's our agents? An alternative, uh... Those are speckies. Well, 
I think they like there's just stuff that is in the tins well, that we think it. that we think are going to be in the tins later in August, September. Sorry, that I think they're just going to bring forward because there's too much, and they're already oh. rev- they've already announced they're going to put stuff from those packs. In I here. forgot the Pride and Unity was in was in Mega Tins. Yeah, yeah. But there's definitely you stuff. You need they to bought. change stuff back from. Uh, what you're doing I don't in have bags. more to put in here. <laughs> Um, so yeah, those are a little specky. Um, so then the RC20 is from cards from the OCGs. Yeah, so Rarity Collection 20 that we never got, uh, and a whole bunch of it was never put into the Rarity Collection, uh, into our Rarity Collection set that we got. No, well, the, you know the what Rarity I mean? Collection no. 1. Okay. Rarity Collection Rar- 1, we got a straight copy of their Rarity Collection. No, uh, of their, of their 25th Rarity yeah. Collection. Of the 20th, we never got. Yes. So it's a whole bunch of old cards that never got reprinted. They're, the only issue I have with that is a lot of those cards suck. Yeah. Hence I took out some of them. So Ben's, got, Ben's turned this into more of a wish list. I think it's going to suck. Yeah, um, so before we started recording this, I did speculate on the fact that there's really very little they could give us at this point that'd be like, oh yes, that's a chase card. Uh, so yeah, let's we'll see how it goes as of next week. Um, but yeah, we've got the uh, Kashira stuff. I, I had the word right in front of me and I forgot what it was. Uh, Kashira stuff. I just as put well down Fenrir, as... Unicorn, and Rise Heart, the Ultra S. Yep. Um, got Gen X Undyne, Uni Zombie, Ixchel. Uh, that'd be so good. Uh, Gammy. That'd be think, so good. I think there could be more than just Gammy. There could be more Kaijus in here. Yeah, potentially. Uh, Feet Ash specifically, because uh, I think the idea is that they're going to do a lot of the alt art prints that they've done. Uh, personally, I think that uh, she might be. Did you put them in the ones that I said? Which ones? The alt art mecha. No, I didn't put those in. Okay. Uh, so I personally think that a lot of the alt arts that we've missed, like alt art macabre, alt art invocation, alt art kiss kill, alt art Leela. No, no, the alt art Alistair was in a earlier run which we got with like the droll and lock and stuff like that mm. we've never seen the macabre and stuff before oh, i thought we got those in that gold rare eldorado as well but they no. haven't announced that so like the first run alt arts i thought they might have um they might have said I'm, I'm happy to be wrong we probably need it but well it's either that or like they save it for the yeah, battles of legend i don't know they're just nice cards It'd just be nice to have them well, more, more so the Macabre. The rest I couldn't give a shit about. Um, I have a Hime and the other two Ultra Rares because they're putting the Pearly Ultra Rares in, in, in here. Uh, the Maze pack at the start of the year had the Ultra Rares for Rescue Ace. Rescue Ace. So I think they're going to round it out. Yep, that makes sense. Maybe. That is logical. Uh, speed speed Roof. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what's going on there. <laughs> speed Roof. Uh, Terra Top. Yeah, uh, that is a guess. I could swear to uh, August pack. Tarp Horror. Uh, Harmonizing, Arc Pendulum, uh, Kieran, pretty decent guess to be fair. Although it's already sitting at a rare, so imagine having a rare and then like just every rare yeah. leading up. Just We're so, common. So much choice. Uh, for context, I took out Bragg's other two banlist predictions of Protoss, Colossus. I replaced them with Feed Ash and. I wasn't as tied else. to those as I was to Nightmare. <laughs> Uh, and I took out Night Express Night and yeah. <laughs> fucking the other shitty train. I tell you, cards. Express Night will be in there. Uh, you have my Ma- word. Dark Magician Night, Chimera Tech Mega Fleet, Albion Sanctified Dragon, uh, TG Wonder Magician, Shooting Star Dragon, Ultimized Ulcan, Cleaving Synchro, Omega, Coral, Tatsunoko, Trident Dragon. Do we think? No. No. I think. I think Jerome was baiting us. I think he would have said it if it was in there. No, I... I... To what... To what end? So then there's a big surprise in the in these... Yeah, um, oh, it's a big surprise. Like Everyone idiot. that wants it has it, and yeah. they spent six times more than they should have. All yeah. because Jerome said... Oh, Not enough you know. people have listed it over this weekend to make me concerned, because I have been watching of who's listing what and going, oh, if there's a whole flood of them, then... A content creators let it slip you really have been like string boarding this whole thing haven't you just like that's what, conspiracy that's what theory. i do with this game man <laughs> <laughs> i don't play i just think yeah this game is so good <laughs> when you're not playing it also <laughs> oh put that on the box <laughs> access code talker is what's self for set is it 
next to Skirt Dork is like $30. Right? Yeah, I don't know where my gold one's gone. 30 It's quite expensive. Is that expensive? Jake, it hasn't been reprinted in... Touch? It hasn't been reprinted <laughs> in three years. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but like, do you need it anymore? <coughs> yes. Yeah? Yeah, tem- I mean, the Tempai line goes into it, like... Only if- when they can't ODK through the synchros. Yeah. So it's needed. There's a lot of decks that make it excess control. Cards. What's needed for Tempai is just a big ass band hammer. They're all commons, just fuck them off. But no, act- don't worry about a Trident Draggy on reprint. Also, the this, fits into the ul- this fits into your alt art theory that all the alt arts are going to be in here. Be an alt art. Won't put- Please not. Not that <laughs> hideous fucking. <laughs> fucking oppo.com looking PNG <laughs> shit. Oh my god. Yeah. They should have done it. It was, it was never them. They're just like, ah, oh, no. Anyway. Um, what Thanks, else? Uh, Wait, did they ever release it in a gold rip? No. Oh, they did. Sorry. Access okay. code in general. Yeah. Yes. Because I'm like, that tricks my brain into thinking that they never actually released the Eldorado version of it. No, it's definitely in there. It just wasn't a disgusting artwork. It was just a disgusting rarity. Yeah. I'm convinced of the Galaxy Eyes. Why? Galaxy Eyes is a fair... Yeah. Fair cop, because they've got the light set coming out later, so reprinting. Even just normal Galaxy Eyes could cop a reprint in this. Or, no, what's the extra one that they do? The one that, like, makes their whole deck go? What's it fucking called? The retrainer, like, summons itself when it's on the board and then detaches and summons itself, blah, blah, blah. Help me out here. No. I only know the 80 <laughs> cards in this set. Any other 80? Um... Just no. <laughs> Uh, but I am, I am open fun. to the idea of more Galaxy cards being... I think it'll just be the the one, and then the rest will be in the Jewels pack. D'Augusto Emerald? Yes. Oh, uh, based on Rare to Collection 20. Yeah. Emerald's a, Emerald's a huge card. Yeah. This is, meant to, this is meant to celebrate the history of Yu-Gi-Oh. Is it? Yes. Yes. Where have they said that in the Rare to Collection 2? What? It's the 25th... Anniversary. It's still called it's the 25th anniversary branding. It's all yeah. reprints. Emeralds. Uh, Emeralds it's a reprints designed to make things cheap by charging you three hundred and fifty dollars a box. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Trap tricks, Reflesia, uh, Phantom Knight, Break Sword, Ghost Trick, Dullahan. Sure, Dullahan's pretty good. Sure, I'm not tied to it, but um, and then some more confirmed ones. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, the uh, yeah, the, the eyes. Yeah. Critias, Tamias, and. I paid uh, this. I saw one. this and I was like, yep. When they do that, like, try sword card as well, that, like, oh, them are free. Maybe. Because that could be a Garbo one they chuck in there for no reason. Uh, bonfire, card demise, left arm offering, uh, rank up seventh one. I could see them actually doing the rank up Baryon Force, the one that they're going to be using for puppets. Yep. Uh, Foolish Burial, Upstart, Twin Twister, Cosmic, Silvory, Calcos. I think fucking pro- lol. probably all of the back removals will probably be in here. Like, t- MST. Yeah, Typhoon's, yeah. Typhoon is due. Like, more printings. Uh, Chicken Game. I don't know whether they would have gotten Chicken Game word of coming off ban list before this was said. We'll Why Chicken are we game acting like MST? the people that make decide what's in the products are different from the ban list? It's a shed. It's just Jerome behind a computer going, no, printing, do send this. I think he goes, print, 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 print. Now, what about the future of the game? <laughs> I'll already press print on these. Oh, I'm banning these. I'm sure, there's other, I'm sure there's other hard workers there, like Kevin and Derek. Yeah. Who follow Jerome's uh, nasty rules. Yes. Do you mean Roger and Derek? What did I say? Said Kevin and Derek. I was like, you're one, right? I, I oh, well, Kevin's legitimately there. Oh, is he there still, I wonder? No, nah, Kevin got fired. He got replaced with Billy Break. Oh. If that's real, and you're not memeing me, I don't Pro- hope so. Probably is real. I hate you, you piece of shit. <laughs> Wait, Kevin? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, skill Drain. I argued macro- with him on Pojo once. <laughs> we had just a, a group of grudges just d- delivering you audio every week. Um, At least I'm not threatening him. <laughs> I haven't threatened any Konami official. Today. I can swear. <laughs> I can swear. <laughs> Hold on. We'll see in the end of the year highlights. I'm pretty sure I've got you time coded you threatening him. <laughs> oh no, last year last year was rampant. Just like it's literally like- just any fucking break in the podcast. <laughs> Fuck you! <laughs> uh, and then all of, except for uh, Scalding, 
all of the judgments. Well, yeah, well, those are confirmed. Yeah, that's one. Yeah. So maybe Skullwing's in there and there's no skill drain. No, I could see them putting in skill drain. Look, Upstart Goblin would be very nice. Maybe all of the drains. Oh, no. Now, the first rune collection was pretty light on traps, so I don't think so. But, my God, if we did have all the drains. I never realised we got IDP in Rarity Collection 1. I can't even think what it is. Oh, the prison. prison. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's actually a decent card. I pulled it out of bulk yesterday and was like, eh? This was in here? Sure. Well, he didn't know Evenly Mash was in there. No, yeah. I've never seen a QCR Evenly, so I feel like it just never sees the light of day or it wasn't printed and I went with the latter. I was like, thank God, I don't. I can't be bothered looking for the other ones and now I've got I so can't many I'm looking for my Shrek Shadow Commons. <laughs> uh, but yeah, if you see this podcast and get the time to put your predictions in before the actual thing come out, uh, by means, jump into our Discord and let us know. Uh, Bonfire, yes or no? No. Nah, I'm also on no. I'm going to say no. I reckon they'll save it for Battles of Legend or the Tin. I don't think we get both so Bonfire or um, Tribe. I just, I just don't think there's enough of other stuff that would be tin adjacent that's like chase cards. Whereas like Bonfire and stuff, all the Snake Eye stuff, all the horror stuff, those are what's going to be majority of what sells a tin. Yeah. I'm going to go and let me say yes because of the uh, Gold Sark theory. Oh, yeah, he, like, full-stringed it up and said that this card... If they bring Gold Sark forward, they can bring Bonfire forward. Wait, is it normal Gold Sark or Gold Sark of Light? It's just normal Gold Sark, I'm pretty sure. Then why are you saying forward? Because it's in... It, it's, it was meant... It's it meant to be in Unity, yeah? And then Bonfire's in Pride. And then they're bringing forward the... Ooh! Gold Sark. I'm telling you, Bonfire's a 45% chance to be in there. And therefore, I'm certain. Okay. So, uh, next, we move on to questions. If you weren't aware, we do have a Discord link will be in the description below. Feel free to jump in, say hi, and ask us questions. Our first one this week comes to us from Jesse. Can we talk about the Tactical Tridex? Uh, we mm. just did. Uh, they're quite good. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. So I Give us. <laughs> they're good. Give me it. They ain't. No. We ain't getting this shit. No, we'll never get it's this. It's too good for us. Yeah. The for fact if we that it, did, they'd charge like $50 of structure. They would put Tactical Try into a set. <laughs> you have to try and get the bits and pieces. <laughs> Imagine that as a set. Evil Twins, like, Eldritch, and Cyber Dragon. It's just like... Also short printed uh, all of the hand traps and everything else that you'd actually need. Short printed? Yeah. Zero printed. Just random other shit. Yeah. But God, it would be nice to have them though. It would be it'd really be like, nice. and also it would be good. Like it would be good for the game. It'd be so easy to just go, oh yeah, pick up Evil Twins or pick up uh, Golden Lord. Like buy two to three of these, you're done. That's the thing. Just, the best thing about them is that you literally don't have to buy seventeen of well, three. You don't have to buy three of them. <laughs> I was gonna, I was gonna go for hyperbole. Two of and I was them, like, that sounds sometimes ridiculous. three. Yes. Well. Yeah, depending on what structure deck you're buying, you have to buy two to three. But these, you can literally just buy one, and you could definitely work it from there. Because it comes with the bits and pieces of support, whereas the structure decks typically don't. I think if you buy three, you also have a sideboard. Yeah? Yeah, it's a decent way to look at it. I don't it. want the Cyber Dragon one. Just give us a 50-50 between Evil Twin and... Um, <laughs> I'm probably going to buy some of these when we go to Japan in India. Yeah. Yeah. Can't play them, but... We can play Locals. We know what all the cards True. do, so it's not like we have to have the translator up like you do with Rush Tool. Oh, I'm just more inferring that we're banned. You just can't go to oh, two, yeah, you two can't... events. Yeah. You can go to locals. Yeah. Imagine flocking to Japan and trying to enter a regional with a structure deck. Mm. I think it's doable. Yeah. With those, surely you could Maxi! win a few games. Yeah. You have Maxi and Ash. As long as you pick the Cyber Dragon or the Evil Twin one. Because the Eldritch one doesn't have it because I want you to set all Doesn't need it. Set everything. Uh, next question comes to us from 6i6. Uh, ooh, oh, God. Oh, well Thumb done. Please. Well done. I hate that the lock button's up the top on the, the uh, You also uh, stop the recording. Oh, oh, that's fine. No. It doesn't matter. The recording. Oh, yeah, for this bit, it doesn't matter. Uh, what would you like to rarity bump? 
Oh, when do you like to rarity bump in a deck? Uh, <laughs> chase max at all times for all things. Uh, in brackets, low bridge styles. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if a reprint is higher than OG, uh, price dependent or never. Uh, typically, I will just do it eventually. So, like, nowadays, depends. Like, I'll just kind of buy what rarity is out. And then if they release rarity bombs later, I'll be like, mm, maybe. Um, yeah. Like, I don't find myself being like, oh my god, I've got to buy these QCRs at the start anymore. Well, it's, I think for you at least, it's because you're not that big a fan of a lot of the QCRs. No. Like, I wouldn't mind the Light Swan ones, but they're also, like, the most expensive, so I'm out. It is insanely expensive to get the Light Swan ones. I think it's, like, 250 each for the Dragonlings. Yeah. I'm out on that. Insane amount of money to pay for a not very good deck. And yeah. they won't even rain. And also, they don't maintain as much value as they could or should. No. Which is irritating. So they're like, releasing so much of them. Yeah. If I, if you could go, oh, yeah, I'll just put 700 bucks into this play set, and then I'll flip it for 600 as opposed to, you know, picking up the secrets and then flipping it for a complete neg. This, just, no, they, they crash down to at least 100. Like, they all crash down to about 100 bucks tops. Yeah. yeah, you just, you can't buy them on release because they fall in value so fast. At least with the Starlights, it was a bit of a specky. Some of them would hold their value, some of them might drop, but then some of them would just go down. Hmm? Uh, yeah, that Appalooza coming down was shocking for Starlight, though. I yeah, guess a billion that and now. the IP both lost some value. Yeah, I guess most TCGs have lost a bit of value over, over the last few years. Yeah, I think... They'll go to the moon eventually. Well, I think part of that is a market correction as well, in that they all went bonkers over COVID. And now it's just like, yeah, actually spending that much on cards is kind of stupid. Yeah, we'll have to buy petrol. <laughs> and food. Petrol's $2 a litre. Yeah. It's insane. Um, go to locals, five litres of petrol. <laughs> I do we like that. Um, I walk to locals. <laughs> <laughs> and then you don't play. <laughs> yeah. It's like saving $20. <laughs> Um, for me, in the very early days, there was a lot of, like, chasing the high rarities, but these days, not so much. I just pick up random stuff as yeah. it comes available. I tend to focus on a specific deck when I'm doing rarity bumps, otherwise it's just, like, whatever's around. Like, nowadays I'm just, like, the cards that go in every deck, I don't, I, they can be high rarity. That'd be nice. Mm. The cards that are, like, just the other shit that I kind of throw around here, there, and everywhere, nah. That can be whatever I want it to be. I downgraded like, all my stuff. Like, I've got the common ashes, common uh, imperms. Like, I bought the ulti Veilers from Rarity Collection 1. That was the only card that I chased after. Was, and even then, it was because I pulled two. And then mm. was like, I guess <laughs> I just buy the third. Mm. I wonder what the odds of that would to be like, of four ultis that I pulled, a, like three of them were, yeah. or two of them were the same ulti. It's an interesting math. Question. Especially, yeah, especially awesome. in the in the, yeah, the seventy nine. Yeah, wow. Yeah. Huh. Actually, I'm. I think over the total of it, I pulled two of the Angel of Mischief QCRs, which was really annoying because oh, it's fucking terrible. Um, I got a cold by. Thanks, Bragg. Continuous spell. You got me uh, <laughs> uh, next question comes to us from Rye Guy. Do you have a Yu Gi Oh rival? Yes. Although over the course of the last two weeks, apparently I've forgotten his name. And I have two Yu-Gi-Oh rivals. No, no. Three Yu-Gi-Oh rivals? No, 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 no. You're thinking enemy. Ah, oh, sorry. I thought they were the same thing. <laughs> no. <laughs> anyway. Rival, rival is typically someone that you have competition with. It's not necessarily someone that you hate and want to die. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought these were the same thing. No. No. I think... No. Um, I can't think of an analogy at the moment, but yeah, they don't have to be someone that you want dead. Okay. See, I misinterpret this because when Pokemon Red came out and you had your... Oh, yeah, so, yeah. So no, I wanted no, him so no, dead. Not, so not Red, Blue, Gold, Silver Rival. No, he's meant rival. to be a friend. You need more... I want him dead. <laughs> blue should die in a hole. <laughs> you need to think more modern Yu-Gi-Oh rivals in that you're competing with them, but you're friends. Nah. <laughs> yeah, I have a Pogo one. 
for Yu-Gi-Oh though. You'd need to play more Yu-Gi-Oh. I feel. Oh, like I'm that. more thinking of it in history. Oh, you would have had some over history, surely. Oh. There was a time when me and Jake had a lot of back and forth, but lately it's been kind of sad. For me too, bro. For me too. Yeah, it's been like, did Jake open the side deck cards? No, Ben wins. I mean, yeah, the Unchained vs. Rescue Ace arc was a bit of a rivalry. Yeah. Did Jake open the side deck cards? No, Ben wins. <laughs> and there's not much I can do when I don't have back row removal for a back row deck. What do you want me to fucking do? Oh, no. How about you, Logan? Did any rivals come to mind? My only rival I've pretended to have at the moment is Josh. Oh, I thought Josh he was going to say time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That, that has always been That's Logan's true. rival. Until he's up on life points, then it's his best friend. Uh, how can I combo in my 60 card deck today? Yeah, no, nah, Josh did at the moment, but when I was younger, it was probably Bragg. Like, Bragg was the guy when I first started playing Yu Gi Oh! Yeah, it was like I did think, like, maybe you, Harry. Yeah, like, like, I, when I, you were 15, you stopped being relevant, so. <laughs> when you were 15? Yeah, that's probably when you We'll like, get into this later. It's 10 years ago. Fuck, 10 years ago. Yeah, almost. Uh, Lachlan had an answer to this question. Uh, his answer was all fluffle players. Classic Hayden. <laughs> uh, so I have tried and teed that up so that um, it'll be a fluffles versus uh, Dynamist. <coughs> Bless you. What an interactive matchup. I can't wait to see either Dynamist flip floodgates or Fluffle win. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Um, we haven't done a poll in quite some time, have we? No. Well, I mean, I'm a beanie. True. Uh, so our poll this week will be if you believe Bonfire will be reprinted, yes or no? Sure. Uh, but hey, uh, and we'll, where will Bonfire be uh, reprinted? Uh, Needs to be the question. Well, I mean... <laughs> Why will Bonfire... <laughs> uh, let's not do that, because by the time Spotify gives me the add poll option to the podcast... We will know. We will know. That's why I said it's got to be where. Will it be there but in Rarity Collection, but Battles if, of Legend? But if we already know that it's in Battles of Legend, I mean, whatever it is, Rarity Collection. Then yeah, well, then the answer is Rarity Collection. But it, Just everyone votes 100% Rarity Collection. I think there's a collection. 75% chance it won't be, so here we are. Um, but anyway, we'll work out what the question will be. Uh, but that does conclude Mate. us for this week. Hmm? I'm voting negative. Okay. Uh, that concludes us for this week, though. Uh, thank you all very much for listening and watching. If you are listening along, feel free to favourite. Uh, that was a word. Uh, <laughs> if you are listening along, feel free to favourite. If you're watching, like and subscribe. Jump to our Discord, ask us some questions, answer the poll, and we'll catch you all next week. Peace. His rival's the English language. No, it was Mussolini. <laughs> <laughs>